Tom Murray back here starting to go maybe 50 yards within the woods and uh <clears throat> I'm already seeing a bunch of scrape signs, a lot of rubs, um old rubs of course, the season's over. I believe the deer are starting to drop their antlers, but um here's one I see. You can see that I was zooming in on it, but oh pretty decent. Red one is for instance on both sides. So. This thing I hit pretty good this season. Well, that's a sign. This ain't where I'm going right now. Maybe you can kind of look in the ground. You see a little beaten path difference in here. So um, right now I got to get back to my trail camera and change these batteries before it get dark. But all this I plan on hitting this whole wood area. Deep and wide. I've only hunted this part of the woods one time, but uh, it goes this way, it goes that way, it goes this way, it goes way back towards my house. So, like I said, I didn't really know you could hunt back here till me and my buddy Esteban came back here once. As you walk, you see the different deer trails. When me and my buddy Esteban came back here once, uh, and on the way in, you see a lot of people walking through, walking out. So I guess it's kind of like a public land. But I checked it out. It, is, it belongs to the state and the county. So oh, it's free to hunt. <sighs> Other people. But I um, talked to a guy at the bow shop and he said he used to hunt this years back. And he, he's gotten all his big deer from back there. This is where the majority of the big deer are in Jackson. And uh, so, plan is go out here do my scouting. Right now, season just ended about a couple weeks ago. Do all my scouting now. Then uh, continue to scout throughout the off season. And by the time hunt season is here, I should have this place completely understood. Now little signs like this here. The resting tab right there on the branch, I just have to know. Somebody's been hunting the ice and a couple more back that way. But they're just marking the trails. I mean, somebody probably uses this entrance a lot. Because I came back here yesterday and I didn't see any of these uh, tabs. There was also snow and the rain and so my eyes was pretty much closed. I was trying to get in and out. Because I had somewhere to be at a certain time, but... I got a lot of free time now until it gets dark. So I'm just going to sit back here and check out. See what I can learn about these woods. Make it back to the creek and uh, walk around. See what I can find. So I have something like this. All the way to the back. That's great. I can walk and cover Not sure how many people are back scouting right now. I'm scouting in all season, but I'm serious about this. This year is more about freezer filling. But next year will be about getting the big. I want to stick brush that to get deep. So I'm going to let the camera chill for a little bit. Still got a ways to walk. Like I said, there's that one handmade stand way over there in the brush and the tree. And, you know, I built one of those for practice not over in the yard, but I don't trust them when it comes to hunting. <laughs> you know, anything can happen way out here. And nobody's here to hear you or see you unless you're out here with somebody. <laughs> That could be real bad. I believe we're getting up on the, on the spot. I don't know. Yes, there I put the camera up. There's just a lot of good trees everywhere. 
really look forward to getting out here next season. Here's the spot I came back from yesterday. Oh, there's like pine trees straight up for all the big color. Figure no better place to sneak in and hide out than that. Here's just gonna say, well, here's a, an old rib. Oh, this is a rib too. Here. So, here. I have to travel through this, these thick tall trees. I see this one look like somebody was climbing or declining. I don't know, I don't know how long that was. Here's right now. So, um, these mole tree cameras up with the molding. Kind of like I guess next year will be a good spot. Get in here, get in here a little thicker, go in here deeper. And just start rattling and grunting. And see what comes out this way. And look like a path going that way. And I'm going to go back and find the creek first. And, uh, See where that goes. And then, after I figure out where that goes, there's some CRP grass back there to the left as well. Look that over. <coughs> figure out a game plan for what I'm going to do next time I come out here. <coughs> Scout, figure out where I'm going to put tree stands or a blind on the edge of CRP or whatever. It's real thick. You'll see when we get back there. So, uh, I'm about to go ahead and change these batteries out in this camera. And also I got to lower down some because when the deer came through here, and they came through right in that area, right there. It was just high and they caught just their back. So, I'm going to search around a little bit for some evidence, some prints or whatever, and a little bit of snow left. And I'll probably follow that for a little bit. I still got like an hour and a half before the sun starts to die down. <clears throat> so now I'm deep all the way at the back. See all these little blue marks? I guess there's somebody else come back here walking in the way. This is like in the hole. Try it out creek here. So I'm jumping. Pretty sure it's out of that. I'm going to pop a few more scrapes and some dropping. I'm figuring out where would I put a tree stand. So many good trees. So many good trees. Good trees today. And I can even climb on it. Because I can just put a climb straight up. Boom. Climb in them opening cups. You know, so what I would do is I would come out here and put my wicked tree saw in. Either cut off a lot of these branches or find one that's like this straight up, but a little more cover. I could probably go up that one to about the, the V point and hide out in there. Have something to attach my quiver to as well. Or oh, this one is right off the CRP. Yeah, I like that one. I have to come out here and trim off some branches there. Yes. 
a good sign. So. I want this little more stone. Could probably take up the guy. Here's the creek. Since all this rain, you see this. Where that came from? Well, since all the snow is melting, the creek is a little deeper than I expected to be. So I ain't gonna walk that today. But what I will do is hop up here and walk this embankment and we'll see where it takes me to. I'm trying to turn back on to get something good. I'm not trying to die. Here we are, all the way at my stopping point last night. You see, way up there, we got a man made tree stand. Obviously, we ain't been using in a while. Fucking bottom is falling out. And also, here's a stream for his bow or rifle or whatever. And it's grown inside the tree. I said, way back, way, way back. And I actually just encountered some kids out here shooting squirrels with shotguns, so I'm sure they're gone now. They didn't expect to find somebody else way back here, but hey, you can find people anywhere. And that'd be a sign to the kids going be out here shooting shotguns outside of Steve. I don't know if the season not good and have any orange. I got a couple high school kids just killing time. Shit is getting good, good. Just getting really good. I got a tracker app on the phone. So I can I'm going to step out here so I can get back. At this point. Yeah, I'm pretty far back here. I'm going to break. I'm going to my steps. I'm going to just walk and stuff. So if I end up going missing, somebody happened to find this camera at some point. It was fun. I took the advice from Mike at the bow shop. He told me, when you're out recruiting, you just can't be afraid to get lost. You gotta go as deep as you can. Deep, 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 deep. And so you got nowhere else to go. That's where you're gonna find the big boys. Right now, I'm pretty deep back here. In the swamp marshy man land that he was talking about. starting to snow a little bit too. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is we're going ahead and head back. Come back out here on the weekend and bring somebody along with. So, uh, two miles. We can figure our way out of here. As we go deep. But, uh, Hey, look at that little trail marker. There's something out here that was in the That was 50 minutes ago, so we've been back here for a while. Yeah. Look at this distance. All that red is me walking. Oh. 
doesn't feel like a good spot to go down. That some stone is out. It's going to fall out of the clock. I make sure how to fix it. But as long as I'm back on the path, I got my flashlight and my headlight. I'll be all right. So, that's today's episode of tracking. But, uh, when I get back, I'll do a recap video. And then, uh, we'll discuss some of the things I've seen and what I think I'm putting together on this wooded area. Well, here's a good sign. And I'm back here if I know the trail. If you look deep in it, you see deer footprints all across this ice that goes through there. Uh, right now, I ain't gonna risk going there right now because I'm not sure how much light I got left, and that's what I thought. I ain't got no sticks in them to check with, check with the depth of this stuff. We're gonna head back, but that's also another good sign. That's when the prints all across that ice. Which means they funneling right through this area. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take one of my wireless cameras and clear some brush out here if I set it right there on that tree or in this tree or something. Clean all this out with the wicked tree saw and let it capture what it see if I do that this weekend. Just got back to the house, got changed, got things situated. Um, it's now about 5.55, a little bit of sunlight left, not that it really matters because I'm not hunting, but uh, like I said, we got deep out there today, we got as far as I can go where there was a trail, and then the rest was just kind of like beating brush from the deer, and just working my way through, but uh, I turned around before it got too dark and I got lost out there in unfamiliar places, but uh, yeah, we saw a lot of good signs from rubs to scrapes, um, a lot of marks on the trees. On the way out, I jumped quite a few deer, probably three does. I didn't get to see if there was any bucks, but I just saw the asses going away. And I'm going to assume there were does, just so I'm not upset. But I'm um, um, going to get back out there eventually, hopefully this weekend, and do some shed tracking, me and my buddy Sean. I'm going to go out there, uh, have a camera on that as well, videotape that, some of that at least. Um, like I said, there's a lot of scrapes, a lot of trails, a lot of rubs, um, really beaten paths. Some spots where the snow was still left, you can see deer tracks going through. Um, I found a really cool waterway at the end, a little pond. It was like frozen over and it funneled between trees on both sides and down the middle of that path that curved around. It was nothing but deer tracks across the ice and snow. So I don't know if that was from last night or just over time. But what that tells me is that is where the deer are funneling from the wet marsh into the trees. But there's a lot of CRP fields and whatnot above it. I got up on a little, on a hill, a hump. I can see over the top with my binoculars. There's a lot of marsh and pine. So, oh, excuse me. What I'm going to do is get a big thick stick or whatever as a warm up. I'm gonna walk through that little pond area, make sure it's not too deep. But waterproof boots, and try to make my way over to the CRP. Um, I'm gonna try to get a long wolf for the XOD system, and get out there deep. It was about like I said, 45 minute hike, so I'm definitely gonna need the running gun set up and get out there and just try to set up different spots, find different trees, find lookouts so that way I can get my lanes and stuff set up. Once I figure out where I'm gonna go and what I'm gonna do. But uh, we're going to try to get out there Sunday, try to get out there early, get out around like 12, 31, so we get out there with plenty of time of sunlight and whatnot. And hopefully we don't run into any more squirrel hunters with shotguns. <laughs> but uh, other than that, that was a little fun adventure. I'm getting into this a lot. Really looking forward to start shed hunting and all this other stuff after I figure out all my little spots. But um, all right, so stay tuned for the next one. Later.